This is an ABC News special report. Now reporting, George Stephanopoulos. Good afternoon. We're coming on the air right now because there has been a violent incident in downtown Manhattan. At least six people are dead, 11 injured. When a car appeared, a white pickup truck appeared to go down a bike path in lower Manhattan, mow down people on bikes. You see those bikes right there apparently colliding with a school bus as well, carrying special needs children. Entire area in lower Manhattan now on lockdown, including Stuyvesant High School, which is right in that neighborhood. I want to go straight to our correspondent, Gio Benitez, who's on the scene, uh, is joining us by phone right now. The, the, the police are on the scene as well. They have the suspect in custody, Gio, but that entire area is now crawling with police. Oh, it absolutely is, George. And we're seeing all these ambulances. You'll probably hear them as we're on the air here. Uh, but, but we're seeing all these ambulances run through here. Uh, we don't know how many are injured just yet, but we know that uh, that number could be significant. As you know, we, we have first heard this as maybe two people uh, dying. Now that number has grown to six. Uh, so this is a very serious situation down here. Uh, I'm here. I'm also seeing uh, some helicopters up in the air. Uh, a lot of confusion down here right now, George. Okay, Gio, thanks very much. I'm here with our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, as well. Some preliminary information now coming in from New York City Police, as we said. They, they have a suspect in custody. Uh, it, it appears that this appeared to be an intentional driving down of that bike path. We don't know if it was precipitated by road rage or, or something else right here. According to the New York Police, the vehicle continued down. Uh, the suspect exited the vehicle displaying imitation firearms and was shot. By the New York Police Department. Shot by police, is alive and in custody. And authorities say the truck traveled some 20 blocks mowing down a bicyclist and hitting the school bus, as you reported. Uh, this is one of uh, 10 or 12 recent incidents in which uh, vehicles have been used to attack. Yeah, and we know that this has been uh, something that ISIS has called on their followers to do, big, but we have, we have no information right now that this was inspired by ISIS or was a terrorist act or was precipitated by something else. That's right, and George, the FBI is now responding to this scene, uh, suggesting there's uh, more to it than just road rage. Okay, let's go to our senior justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, as well. Federal authorities have been briefed. Well, they are, have gotten some preliminary information, George. Uh, some of the preliminary information pointed to road rage, but now I'm um, being told by a source that they're reassessing, trying to get additional detail given the number of injured and, and dead, and tr really trying to figure out what precipitated uh, this event. But uh, the source I just talked to said that given the length of time that the truck was on the bike trail, that this act, at least in part, is intentional but we don't know the reason yet. Mayor Bill de Blasio of New York on his way to the scene right now. So is Governor Andrew Cuomo. Lindsay Janice, also in downtown Manhattan. What are you seeing, Lindsay? That's what the town is not. Hi, George. Uh, just arrived at the scene here. There are dozens and dozens of people, bystanders, media standing here, some ambulances, police vehicles. The police have got the street blocked off. We are about two blocks from where the incident happened. We're hearing, again, at least six dead, perhaps a dozen injured. Uh, I've just been looking at a piece of video that was given to us by somebody who witnessed part of this incident. A man running around in the street, apparently running away from authorities with what appeared to be something in his hand. It appeared to be a gun. Uh, that, is, that is all the information we have. This, this video here, we're being told that authorities are going to update us at 5.15 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, there'll be a, there'll be a police briefing at that point. And, and, and according to the police, they're saying that he was displaying a gun, as you report, but they are describing it, Brian Ross, as an imitation gun. It's an imitation gun, not an operable gun, but it was waving it around and was shot, according to authorities, in the buttocks as he came out. So this is still unfolding right now. We know, uh, as we said, that six people have been killed, about 11 injured down in downtown Manhattan. This all unfolded at approximately 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. What you see there is Stuyvesant High School. This is right in the vicinity, uh, Gio Benitez, of the high school. And as I said, there are reports that a, a school bus carrying special needs children was hit by this pickup truck as well. That's right, George. And we're seeing school buses actually drive by this area right now. So this clearly is an area uh, that school buses typically drive through. Um, there's just a massive amount of people right now. We're trying to get a handle of where exactly this happened from, from where we are at this point, George. Uh, but unbelievable amounts 
of police are here. They, they are here. They are all over this area uh, trying to make sure uh, that everyone stays safe because, as you can imagine, so many people have crowded yeah, in. Yeah, and, and we see those limos coming into the area right now. That could be the mayor or the governor who we said are on their, their way. And, Gio, we've gotten one report that Stuyvesant High School is on lockdown. Do you have any more on that? Anything more on that? I don't just yet, George. Okay. Uh, so to summarize right now, at least six people have been killed, 11 injured in a violent incident in downtown Manhattan. That white pickup truck right there mowing people down on a bike path, 15 injured, we are now told, in addition to the six dead. Officials are on the scene. The FBI is investigating along with the New York Police Department. We're going to continue to track this. We'll be back as the situation develops. This has been a special report from ABC News.